Hey guys, what's up? It's AJ and welcome back to another Hypixel Skyblock video. In today's video, I'll be going over some of the best money making methods in Hypixel Skyblock or just popular ones and testing them out to see how much money you can make per hour. Hopefully you guys do enjoy the video. Comment down below any money making methods that you do that I do not cover in this video and I will see you guys in the video. Enjoy. Also, I'm really trying to hit 2k subscribers before the end of the year, so Please subscribe as a little nice Christmas gift to me. So, uh, yeah, enjoy the video. Hey, guys. So now for the next money-making method that we will be testing, it is jade mining. So now let's see all the gear that we are using. So we're using maxed out jade Devon armor and a 655 drill, which is pretty much maxed out. Pretty good. And then for our pet, we are using a an epic scatha pet, as you can see here, with quick claw. And for my Heart of the Mountain perks, if you guys want to quickly look at these, nowhere it's not it's nowhere near maxed out. Um, as you can see, I don't have that much powder, but I do have a decent amount of mining speed and mining fortune. Let's quickly look at see how much we have. So we have 6,452 mining speed, 1,630 mining fortune. So I'm not sh quite sure if that's any good, but Hopefully it's good enough for this test. Also, huge shout for letting me borrow all the armor and pet and even the drill is Charzy. So, a huge shout to him, and I really do appreciate it. So, now let's get on to the test. I'll be testing for exactly 15 minutes and see exactly how much money we make within those 15 minutes. Also, I don't really d uh, jade mine that much. Well, I've jade mined like mine twice in my whole life, so. It might not be the most efficient, so keep that in mind once we see the numbers. I'll quickly make sure my sack is completely clear. And yeah, let's do it. I'm going to put 15 minutes on the clock. Oh, I should probably select my scatha pet. 15 minutes on the clock, and let's see how much we can get. Alright, and that is exactly time. Let me mind one last one. Alright, so that was exactly 15 minutes. Now let's see how much money we made. Moment of truth. 3.5 million. So, if we multiply that out. 3.5 times 4. We get 14 million an hour. Which, eh, it's alright. You know. But also, I definitely do not have that great of uh, Heart of the Mountain, as you can see here. Um, about 1.7 mil and 2 mil, so not that much. But I do have Peak of the Mountain, and it is all the way up to level 6. So, I don't know. I feel like my Heart of the Mountain is definitely the main reason why this wasn't as good as it should have been. And uh, also, I only had a 655, not a Devon Strill, so could have been just a bit better. But, yeah, so the total number there is 14 million per hour. So, let's head over to the next money-making method. So now we'll be testing how much money we you can make from M5 in one hour. So just keep in mind, guys, this will not be a super accurate representation as some hours you'll drop a lot of good stuff and some hours not so much. For example, if I drop a chest plate this hour, you know, that will significantly increase the amount of money I make this hour compared to an hour when... I didn't, or, you know, maybe an hour where I dropped even a Shadow Fury, so. All this definitely changes, but still, M5 is a really good money-making, so let's get right into it. Actually, I've already done quite a few of the runs, uh, I just realized the audio wasn't working, so just quickly re-recording this intro again. But yeah, as you can see here, one, two, three, four runs so far in this uh, 25 minutes. Unfortunately, people have left, you know, it's just... You know, I'm I'm being this this is a lot more like a realistic, you know, hour spent doing M5. You know, obviously if I had a perm team, it'd be go a lot more efficient. We could probably get, you know, 15 or yeah, 15 runs done easily in an hour. So.
But obviously this is just with random party finder, so it's not going to be nearly as efficient. Alright guys, so so far we've completed 9 runs, and it has been exactly 49 minutes um, since we started. So that started, so the tie started the time the second I started trying to find a group, found pretty quickly, then I had a little bit of downtime after 3 or 4 runs, and now our party just lost one person, so yeah, now we're waiting to get another group. Hopefully we can do 2 more before the end of the 1 hour. So yeah. All right, nice. So just after I said that, a berserk just joined, and now we are a full party and can do another dungeon run. And I forgot to buy potions. Oh well, I'll be fine. <laughs> Perfect. Luckily, the party stayed together, and we have exactly six minutes remaining until the end of this hour, meaning we will get this last run in. Hopefully, this one will be S+. Plus. Um, most have been, but yeah. All right, and perfect. We have two minutes to spare in the boss room of the final run. And complete. One minute to spare, perfect. <clears throat> Another S plus. Now I'll head back to Dungeon Hub. And now we will see how much money we made for this one hour. So let's quickly see how many runs we did first. So we did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We did 11 runs in an hour. I mean, within the 60 minutes, we averaged one run every about five and a half minutes. So is isn't too bad, including downtime. So let's see what we got. And also, before we go over what we got in from those, this is what we got throughout all the runs. We got, so the first, first run, I actually had time to claim my chest. We got a rejuvenate book. And I got Treasure Talisman throughout, Beating Hearts, um, looks like seven instant health potions, which actually add up to be quite a bit of money, and a few Dragon Fragments from all the Lost Adventures. So yeah, now let's see how much money we got. So as you can see, 54 minutes ago, we did do this all within one hour. First one, most profitable is Master School Tier 3, 2 mil profit. Really? It says 2 mil profit, but I'm not sure about that. I'm going to see Master School Tier 3. Tier 3. Wow. Master School Tier 3 is... I feel like that's not right, though. Because Tier 4 is... No, Tier 4. Yeah, wow. Tier 3. Well, that's good profit. All right, so the first one... Made... Two mil profit. Yeah, there we go. Wow. All right. Now I'm just going to quickly go through these. I'll let you know if I get anything exciting. Nice. Okay. Legion book plus Master School Tier 4. Another 1.7 mil profit. Sounds pretty good. Sitting chest here. 906k profit. That's pretty good. Our last one. Shadow Assassin Leggings, which I don't think will sell personally. So I'm going to go down to the diamond chest and take 322k profit. So after adding all those up within the hour from the all the profit we got from the chest, ended up being 7.6 million coins. So now before we, uh, well actually now let's quickly add everything else we got. So the 7.667 million coins... Uh, now we'll sell all the things that we can additionally sell. These all were not incorporated into what we made. 176k more, plus quite a bit of money from all these healing 8 splash potions, as you can quick sell them. 
quite a bit. 400k there, another 400k here. So now add that up. That's another 800k coins we got. So we ended up totaling 8.4 million coins profit for one hour of M5. So honestly, that, that full hour was not that lucky. We did not drop a single Master Star. We didn't drop a Shadow Fear. We didn't drop... We really didn't drop anything that spectacular that hour, and we still made 8.4 million coins an hour. And not only that, since we did 11 runs, that's a, and you get about 115k XP per run, that's that's a lot of XP, especially being Cata 43. I mean, that definitely got me a decent amount of the ways up there, especially because the first five runs were 50% more XP. So I actually got 165k for the first five runs, or maybe four runs, and then... The last uh, six or seven runs, I got 116k. So, a lot of Catacombs XP, and honestly, quite a bit of money for not having a super lucky hour of M5. So, now for the... Oh. So, now for the last few money-making methods, it, I will be farming crops. I will be doing potatoes, nether wart, and sugarcane for about 10... For about 5-10 minutes, and then multiply it out to see how much I get in an hour. So, let's start with some potato. Alrighty, and that is time. So let's quickly see how many potatoes we got. Uh, that was only five minutes. And if we sell all that, we got 200k. So 200,000 times 12 is uh, 2.4 million an hour. So yeah, not too good. But again, my farming level isn't too great. And it is just potatoes. So yeah, I didn't expect it to be that great. So now we'll be doing Shuriken next, and I have this hoe right here. It's cultivating nine, recommed as well, Shuriken hoe. And yeah, we're going to do this for five minutes and see how much money we make with this. Alrighty, the time is up. Let's see how much Enchanted Shuriken we got. So we got nearly got three pieces of Enchanted Shuriken within that five minutes so let's see how much money we made so we have made 189,000 so we'll round up to 190k um and yeah that took us five minutes so 190k times five minutes that is or sorry times 12 190,000 times 12 is uh we ended up getting 2.28 million coins per hour which is not very good as well I'm actually quite shocked about this. Um, I really expect it to be a lot more. So now the next thing we'll farm is nether wart. I've not farmed nether wart in a while, but I do have pretty good hoe. I have cultivating 10, and uh, yeah. Also, someone did give this to me. I did not get that. As I, as you can see, my nether wart collection is 199k, so not very much. So yeah, let's see how much money we can make in the uh, five minutes. Alright, so now that we finished farming up there, let's see how much nether wart we got in those five minutes. So, let's quickly see, about 108,000, so can we craft this in anything else? No, we cannot, okay. So, if we, 131,000, so if we instant sell it, because that's what I've been doing with the rest, we get 108,000 coins, which is not very good for five minutes. So if we multiply that by 10, it's about 1.3 million coins per hour, which is all right at the beginning, but definitely not a good amount of coins at the at the later parts of the game. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it, and I'm really trying to hit 2k subs before the end of the year, so hit that subscribe button as a Christmas gift to me. So yeah. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. Bye.